I want to ask you guys something. I want to know if you'd be interested in something like this. I'm not much of a joiner, but you probably have heard me uh, tell you that I am a member of the Oath Keepers. Well, a lot of people say, well, Jim, well, what is an Oath Keeper? Well, I'll tell you what. I, I'm going to read 10 things that the Oath Keeper believes in. And if you believe in these 10 things that I'm going to read to you, why don't you go over to OathKeepers.org and why don't you join? You don't have to be military. You don't have to be law enforcement. You don't have to be in a emergency medical services to join. Just being a a patriot qualifies you to join. I want to read these. Tell me what you think, because I believe this with all of my heart, mind, and soul right here. And my oath, when I took my oath and I paid my first $40, it's $40 a year, unless you have like a lifetime membership. Uh, well, my oath never expires. That's what I'm really trying to say. Okay, number one, we will not obey orders to disarm the American people. If you believe that, you might be interested in becoming a member of the Oath Keepers. We will not obey orders to conduct warrantless searches of the American people. We will not obey orders to detain American citizens as unlawful enemy combatants or to subject them to military tribunal. We will not obey orders to impose martial law or a state of emergency on a state. If you believe that, you might be interested in becoming an Oath Keeper. We will not obey orders to invade or subjugate any state that asserts its sovereignty. Number six, we will not obey any order to blockade American cities, thus turning them into giant concentration camps. If you believe that, you're a good candidate for an Oath Keeper. We will not obey any order to force American citizens into any form of detention camps under any pretext. Oh, do I believe that one? We will not obey orders to assist or support the use of any foreign troops on United States soil against the American people to keep the peace or to maintain control. Number nine, we will not obey any orders to confiscate the property of the American people, including food and other essential supplies. If that touches you, or you believe that in any kind of way, you are a great candidate to become an Oath Keeper. The last, the last one here I want to read to you. We will not obey any orders which infringe on the right of the people to free speech, to peaceably assemble, and to petition their government for a redress of grievances. How can someone not want to be an Oath Keeper? I mean, we are the guardians of the Republic, folks, the Oath Keepers. I'm just kind of looking around on the website here. That's, that's what I'm doing. We, we have a motto, and that motto is not on our watch. Like the previous video that I made, I'm sorry I was a little irritated about that, but the, the, the Second Amendment, man, is just really just burned and blazing into my heart, soul, and mind. I mean, I really believe in the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. And to think that someone wants to try to disarm us, it, just, it makes me want to just go crazy, man. Not because we're a bunch of crazy heads. It's because we are patriots of our country. You know what it would be like if you disarm an entire country. They tried to do that over in the old Hitler days, and we see how well that worked out, don't Doesn't we? Didn't work out very well. You know, it's like over, in, and, and, and I, I really like you guys in Australia. I really like you guys in the United Kingdom, but I don't understand why you guys do not, let me calm down, why do
do you not approach your government in huge blocks of numbers and you tell those people that if you want to remain in your present political office that you so dearly love and behold, you will allow us the opportunity to have the right to protect ourselves, our family, and our property. I don't see how you can do it with just a knife. I realize that not everything can be handled with a gun, but I tell you what, and this is an old cliche, but you know, I'd rather have, like I think I said it on the last video, I'd rather have a gun in my hand than a cop on the telephone. Because the police always show up after the crime. There's threats. Look, I hear a lot of you trying to be strong, saying I'm not afraid of ISIL. That's because ISIL is not on your turf yet. But whenever ISIL, and trust me, there will be cells, sleeper cells, all over the world. This is an ideology we're up against here, guys. They don't care if you're Australian. They don't care if you're American. They don't care if you're Russian or Japanese. If you do not share the same ideology as ISIL, they want your head literally. They'll take it off. And they don't care. These guys will run to danger. You need to fear that. Because in the United States military, we are taught and instructed to retreat, to regroup, to replan, to reorganize, to re-strategize. These guys in ISIL and these extremists, these fanatical idiots, these nutcases, they run to danger. They are willing to and they want to die. They want to die because they enter this martyrdom. They get to go to their 72 virgins. And they really believe that. You may laugh at that, but they believe it. And it's because of that belief they will kill you for it. And I don't see how you can be strong as a nation if your country and your countrymen are not armed. Not to do bad things with a weapon. I believe that everyone should have background checks. I believe everyone should be thoroughly tested from, from your legal record, your, you know, your law record, your criminal record, uh, to your mental health record. I'm not talking about just passing out guns that everybody all of a sudden is a gun loon. I'm not talking about that. But folks, I really wish you guys, because I'm afraid... For our friends in Australia, I'm afraid for the people in the UK. I'm afraid for a lot of the people in Europe who have decided to stand by the United States side where we can fight this terrorist group. And I love, and the Oath Keepers are our number one uh, rule here, our bylaw that says we will not obey orders to disarm the American people. I wish the whole civilized world would just follow that if nothing else. We will not obey orders to disarm the Australian people, the Canadian people, the European people, the United Kingdom people. Why don't y'all think about that? Why don't you get your people together? Be like the hundredth monkey. Look that book up. It's, go to the computer and look up the hundredth monkey. That's what you have to do. It just takes one person. One person talks to another person. And that person, and before you know it, you have a hundred people. And that hundred people tell a hundred people. And before you know it, and if you go out and sign petitions, and if you if you... You, you take these petitions and you bring these petitions to the, to the legal authorities of your country, the politicians will act on the people's will because they know if they don't, they will be voted out. Thanks a lot for listening to me, guys. That's OathKeepers.org. It's $40 a year. I promise you, you'll love it. Use your prepper sense, guys. I'm Jimmy Rance.